So I got this information from the textbook and the World Nuclear Association. So problems with nuclear power. Well, what if the terrorists come and try to take your power station? They could blow it up and release a lot of radioactivity. Or, as what happened in Chernobyl, what if you've hired someone who thinks they'll try an unauthorized experiment? I wonder what will happen if I turn the nuclear power station down to the low setting. Well, what happens is there's not enough power to run the cooling units and the power station undergoes meltdown. The core gets so hot, the fuel rods start to melt. There's the cooling system and the energy wasn't enough to run it, so it overheated. You need to know that that is called a meltdown. Lots of radiation was released and many, many people were affected. Also, nuclear power provides the material for nuclear weapons. And where are you going to put all that high-level nuclear waste? The fuel rods that have been spent? Well, some countries dump it in the sea, although that's against international agreements. Some countries just put it in a big hole. Okay, a bit more sophisticated than that. Deep burial, that's called. But some of the problems are that if the radiation leaks out, then the groundwater is going to get contaminated. And you drink the groundwater, and the groundwater makes its way to the surface eventually. So you could turn the high-level nuclear waste into glass. That makes it more stable. But there are problems with that. Or you could just store it in a huge swimming pool on site at the nuclear power plant. The radioactivity declines until it's safer. But what about earthquakes? Earthquakes might shake these big depositories of high-level nuclear waste, maybe releasing some of their content. Now, what about low-level nuclear waste? Well, that's the stuff like uh, gloves from hospitals and containers that held radioisotopes for imaging. What could you do with that? Well, to be honest, most of the time, they just put it in a shielded container, concrete and lead normally and they just leave it. 15 years seems to be about the time. And after that time, it's safe. You can just dispose of the stuff normally. And don't forget, this is all detracting from things like wind power and solar power, renewables that are much safer, but have their own problems too. Nuclear power safety, risks from accidents, Nuclear proliferation, meltdowns, earthquakes, tsunamis, water pollution, and terrorists. High-level nuclear waste, well, that's the fuel rods from right deep inside the nuclear reactor. And you could dispose or store of those by vitrification, turning it into glass, deep burial, or oceanic trench, it says in the book. But I'm not convinced that that's true. So stick with the first two there. And low-level nuclear waste, that's from hospitals, clothing, and tubes, and gloves and the like, well, just put it in shielded storage until it's safe and then dispose of it normally.